Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's me again. So, I'm going to solve question number E. So, this uh, question that uh, a lot of you ask me how to how to answer these questions. Okay, I'm going to show you how to deal with these kind of questions step by step. Okay, so in this case, uh, you see that it's already in the same uh, variable. Sine square x, sine 2x. But, this is in double angle. This is in single angle. So, first thing first, change the double angle to be single angle. Okay, reduce it. So, this one we have to keep equals to 5 minus because, because sine 2x is equals to 2 sine x cos x. So, I'm going to change that. So, it will happen to be like this. Sine x cos x. So, uh okay i'm taking out the bracket so it will have like this you have like this so what i do next is i'm taking my five to the other side so i'm taking five to the other side so i will have five sine square x minus five is equal to negative two sine x cos x okay now what to do now next is you see there's two variable here we are we already reducing 2x <laughs> sorry uh what to do now okay we are reducing sorry <laughs> okay we are, we are already reducing uh the double angle to be single angle so what we do we next uh we do is um we see there's cos x here and sin x here and sin 2x here. So there's two variables here. So what we do is that do it slowly, okay? So I'm going to factor out 5 and you will have something like this. Okay, this is tricky. So first, 1. We cannot do anything else unless we have to eliminate whether the sign or cos. So, you see, there's one here, right? So, do you notice anything about one? Do you notice that we have one formula, the basic identities, where sine square x plus cos square x is equals to one? Okay. So, by this, I'm taking my one to replace this okay so i will continue this five sine square x minus my one my one is equals to sine square x plus cos square x something and equals to sorry negative two sine x hey where's my x cos x Okay, do you understand uh, the part where I have to change 1 to sine square x plus cos square x? Okay, let me continue. So, I expand it. Sine square x minus sine square x minus cos square x. Okay, now we got something. Sine square x minus sine square x we got nothing there so i will only have negative 5 cos square x equals to negative 2 sine x cos x ah, pretty interesting right so next thing is because there's cos here there's cos square here and cos x here what I need to do is that I have to gather all cos to the left hand side. So, negative cos square x, take it to the left over cos x equals to negative 2 sine x. Well, because this piece is really uh, so very small, so, okay, I rewrite this again. 
sine square x plus cos square x plus sorry is equals to one okay so um, what 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 okay so this one we got cos square x here we got cos x here so i can simplify this so i would have only negative 5 cos x equals to negative 2 sine x okay so uh do you remember something that tangent x oh my god wait okay that tangent x is equals to sine x over cos x did you remember that so did you see something similar with this so next step is i want to make sure that i've changed to tangent x this to tangent x so negative 5 over negative 2 i'm taking my um, value to the left and the uh, variable to the right so sine x over cos x so we know that sine x over cos x is tangent x so negative 5 over 2 is 5 over 2 so i will always make sure that my um uh, my formula is at the left so tangent x is equal to 5 over 2 so what i do next is that i take my calculator and i calculate square uh, sorry shift tangent 5 over 2 is equals to 68.19 okay 68.2 to be exact degree okay we know that it, because this is positive so it should be in quadrant one and quadrant three good quadrant three so how to get the value in quadrant three so 180 degree plus 68.2 then your value of x is equals to 68.2 and 248.2 degree voila